Hello, hello my friends. This is Alex Kolskov and welcome back to our studio. Today I'll show you how we uh, did our recent photo shoot for uh, Anissa International. We did the brush, the cosmetic brush. And uh, the things I'll be showing you, uh, actually it can be applied to any small object which uh, had, has uh, a uh, highly reflective surface and uh, I will be talking about what light modifiers to use to shoot something like this so even about half a year ago I was using soft boxes mostly soft boxes for any that kind of type of uh, photography work but uh, I'll show you the better way to do it so first, we'll start shooting using soft boxes. Okay, soft boxes. Something like this, or like this. Only the thing we don't need to have any glue on it because because grid will be visible on that reflection. The object, the brush, you see it reflects everything, even though it's black brush, but it's highly reflective surface. So we need to be sure our light sources doesn't have any anything in it, any grid or whatever. So Let's go down. We place it on a acrylic sheet, and uh, I'm going to put some boxes on each side. No other light from the top. The camera will be almost from top. Okay, we have our setup ready. Two soft boxes, ideally. Uh, they should be the same, same size of boxes. But uh, for our example, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you will see later why. And also, it's fine to use different sizes, even for example, because you can always get smaller one closer to the object, and the bigger one is a little bit far away, so they will appear exactly the same on a reflection. So let's try to shoot. Okay, as you see, these are two reflections from soft boxes, and uh, if you take a look at the whole picture, it looks not bad, right? We have this nice uh, lines on the body of the brush, but uh, I didn't like it. I didn't like it because it's very like too much contrast, it shows you kind of wrong idea of the object. First time you look and see more, maybe it's, it has some white uh, lines on it, or what is that? So, what I do instead of soft boxes, I use the diffuser panels. I'll show you. So, diffu diffuser panels. Something like this. <laughs> uh, this is one stop and uh, with black border, I think it will be a two, two, two stop uh, light reduction, but it doesn't matter. Why, why it's good to use them? Because you can focus your light on uh, some part of the panel and the rest will have this nice gradient light file off. So it will be bright on one side and going darker, darker, darker uh, on uh, the rest of the panel. What it will give you on the, on the object is nice gradient uh, reflection. Let me put it and I'll show you the result.
And you see now, even with the box, we can very easily focus our light on some part of the diffuser. Okay. And my guess that we obviously will need to increase the power of our lights. So I'm pulling up a little bit and now we can shoot. One more step we can take to make it look even better is to instead of soft boxes which still can be seen through the diffuser panel is we can use just honeycomb grids to focus our light uh, where we need on that uh, diffuser panel and now when I replaced soft boxes with just simple reflectors with honeycomb grids I can very easily focus our spot and I want to be because the object is a brush, it's long, so I don't want to be like rounded spot. That's why I'm focusing it on angle so I have nice line instead of just a rounded spot. Same thing here. Now let's try to shoot. This is it, we're done. I hope you'll find something useful from this short tutorial. Uh, like I said, I use these diffuser panels for almost every small product shot with uh, reflective surface. I do not suggest to use uh, shooting tents or shooting boxes, uh, especially if you are just starting uh, the pro photograph product photography business. Uh, you need to learn light and uh, the best way to do it to use something which will give you much more flexibility and you will see uh, how every change you do is uh, affect your photo. With shooting box it's more for people who who do like thousand photo photos of the sim similar objects and uh, they don't need to know much about photography. You just set up a couple lights, put the object and shoot. It will look kind of nice but if you want to be high-end if you want to be the best of the best, guys, use something more flexible. Okay, I hope you liked it. Next time, we'll meet soon. I don't know what we'll do, but something interesting as well. And now, thank you, and see you later. Bye.